<laughs> Premiere. <laughs> so, I wanted to say a little story. This is the truth of my real life. I, I like that a lot, man. So I wanted to show you something. I won't be doing this tonight. No, don't even do that to me, man. Listen, I'm kind of nice right now. Nice off the adrenaline. Um, this is the Ruby Stew. No. No. <laughs> you don't want to play around with this, man. This is serious business. You know, this is a busted cube. You know what I'm saying? It's got one square, because I know it's yellow, but I don't want to do that. I was, I was telling you my story. So, there is a video on YouTube you can go find. It's called About Time. My name is Marlon Carey. C A R E Y. Marlon, like Brandon Carey, like Mariah. This is the cube. I'm gonna tell you the story about how I came to solve this. I think it's important on my birthday to share a victory, like a testimony, you know what I'm saying? How did I get to do a TED Talk solving the Rubik's Cube during this poem time? I, man, I was gonna miss this flight to LA. My first flight to LA, I happened to just, I got to the airport, it was a half hour to go. I realized I just drove, I have to park a car. How am I gonna get on the I don't park. Half hour to go. I hop out, I call them. 28 minutes to go. Hello, this is all Josh, whatever it was. I'm calling you. Morgan Carey is coming to a very important meeting in, in LA. He has to make this meeting. No, it is unacceptable. He must, he must be on the plane. He must be on the plane. Unacceptable. And I got to the front desk, man. I'll, long story short, lady gave me a ride as I'm running. Man, crazy. I get to the desk, and she goes, Mr. Carey, come with me, come with me. And I'm a black man, so they search me. I got kids get close. No, you have to get searched. They get me, and I go 15 minutes, 12 minutes. I'm like, oh, 10 minutes to go. I get to the thing. Mr. Carey. They open the sealed door. Anybody ever had a sealed door open for you to get on a fucking plane? Never have I until this moment. When I push forward and say, I'm going to make it. Nobody goes to the airport with a half hour to go. Nobody goes to the airport with a half hour to go. I got on that plane. I sat next to two dudes. They worked for Porsche. They, their job was to test Porsches. They bought me some drinks. I bought them some drinks. They had a good time. They put the Rubik's Cube out. They passed it between them. Timing one another. A minute, a minute, a minute. It's a my life goal to learn this thing. You must show me. I've only got one layer. And they walked me through it. I came back. I bought a cube. I was practicing one day, practicing so hard, no life. I hopped on a 54 bus from Woonsocket. I got to Providence and back to Lincoln Mall before I realized I missed my day to stop. I was so obsessed with this thing. And one day I finally had it and I was practicing a poem at the same time. A poem, cold time. And my homegirl was like, are you doing a room with you, man? I said, yeah, why not? She said, that's just hot. So I put it in shows. And now that I've talked it up, I have to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna try. You guys with me? I need energy to pull this off. And this is about to be official Mr. Humper. You may get Mr. Humper, sir. Mess that up, please. If y'all wanna help me, fine, but I gotta have it back in the next three minutes or less. I'm gonna do a mic stand red if you don't mind. I should not be attempting this. Time. The time 
is my valuable currency. I would like to share time, but I have no spare time. I need time to make change or change the world or change my mind. Time is running out. It's never enough time. Getting a college degree takes too much time because it's too much money, so it's too much time. Well, 